Well, welcome back, folks. Kind of an exciting day. Whoa, kind of an exciting day here. Um, basically, what I'm doing is I'm unboxing a new package I just got from Amazon. And in this box, it's giving me something that uh, will take the strain out of my neck for when I'm snowblowing my driveway. What it is, it's a 7-inch LCD screen with a backup camera. So I'm going to use this mounted into my tractor so that when I'm reversing, when I'm snowblowing the driveway in reverse, I don't have to have my neck cranked around staring at the laneway. I can just use the camera. So hopefully, if this works out well, uh, the days of, you know, working on the back implements using my, uh, my neck strained around is over. So let's have a look and see what comes in the box. So first and foremost, I just pulled this out. This is just a, uh, a basic 12 volt plug. This plug off Amazon is, it claimed anyways, good for 15 amps. So that's quite a bit. We'll actually see whether it is or not. Um, and I also got this with it. So this is the, uh, this is the big item. And this is a seven inch LCD screen and it comes with a camera. Now, the big thing for me in buying this product was getting something that was gonna work in the cold. Now, I'm out snow blowing and it's quite cold up here in Canada. I need something that's gonna last down to, you know, negative 40 degrees Celsius all the way up to almost 40 degrees above zero. So this product had quite good reviews and it claims that it will sustain cold temperatures as well as hot temperatures. So if you were to buy this, here's what you're getting. Now, this is the Car Rover brand with a seven inch screen. So what you're getting here, some basic cards, probably the instructions. What you're getting here, pull that out of there. Okay, so here's the screen. And you can see, you know, there's the size of my hand. So if you can imagine holding up your hand, I got fairly big hands, I guess. Gives you a good idea what we're looking at. Looks pretty good from the start. You can see the mounting hardware on the back, or a mounting location rather on the back. Okay. In terms of jacks that are coming out of it, I've got two jacks here. One must be audio and one must be visual, I'm assuming. Unless that's a power cord, we'll find out. So that's that one. The other thing you're getting in this box here is, oh, it actually came with a, uh, a 12 volt plug. That's interesting. Maybe I'll end up returning the other one, we'll see. But it came with this 12 volt plug and you can see here it's got the USB inputs on the back. So this would be for the power source. And this is the camera. It actually has a metal guard all the way across the top of it and some LED lights in there. We'll get that open momentarily. Um, and this looks like it is the base for the LCD screen. So it looks like you can mount it with an adhesive pad there or you can use the provided screw holes to mount those. Other things you're getting is this. And I think all this is, this goes over the top of the LCD screen and provides a bit of a sunshade. All right, so that's just plastic. And it looks like we got some, some other cables. This looks like it must be, what is that? It looks like an audio cable maybe. And we got these things, these are antenna. So the reason we got these antenna is this is technically a wireless system. So you'll put this on the, the uh, dashboard of your truck and you can hook up the camera at the back of your RV you're towing and they will communicate wirelessly so that you don't have to have like a hundred foot cable connecting the two. So that's why you have, you have these here, these antenna. So let's get a closer look at these two and see, see how they, they uh, are gonna hold up. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. So this is that base I was just talking about. So the thinness here, this is kind of thin, this metal piece, this is metal on the bottom that's going to mount to a dashboard or in my case just above the steering wheel on the tractor. That is metal, however very, very light gauge. This piece here, that feels like it's hard plastic, feels okay. Um, we got some adjustability here. These, these tighten up in order to hold it in place. That feels pretty good, that feels like it's going to last. And here, that's going to screw onto the bottom, I'm assuming. Yes, yeah, screw on right there onto the bottom of the, of the uh, monitor. So that actually feels pretty good. I wouldn't say it's, it's uh, top quality by any means. It's not the high end, but it's definitely feeling like it's going to do the job. So just in two seconds there, you can see that 
screws on there quite nice and that's going to give me great adjustability. The other thing is I can snap this on it appears. This is plastic. I can snap this on. How's that sitting there? Just little holes in the side. There we go. It actually snaps on quite well. So that snaps on and it feels pretty firm. So that looks like it provides a great, a great sunshade. So that's that. Obviously this has to plug in somewhere to get power. And to me, it looks like it's likely to get power from something like this, maybe like that. And then to a 12 volt source. I don't know. I'll have to read the instructions, but this requires a power source and it will also require a receiver. And where, where's the receiver? Receiver in there? Oh, wait a minute. I think I'm mistaken. I was thinking this was wireless and then I remembered, no, I didn't buy the wireless model. Where is this wireless? Let's see. Can't remember now. Oh yeah, it's wireless. Okay, what am I talking about? So there should be a receiver in here somewhere. At least I think so. Let's see what we got in here. So this is the camera itself. So no receiver in here. So the camera itself can mount somewhere within the cab of the tractor or on the back. It's got to get its video to the front monitor. And I'm just looking to see what it's going to do that with. Yeah, this is probably a time I read instructions, I know. Maybe it just is built into this unit, I don't know. If I was a betting man, I would say that goes on there. So that probably goes like that. That's pretty firm. And you can see the other one here. So that goes on there. Okay. Well, we'll look for the receiver in a second here. But anyways, the camera looks pretty good. So it's got the adjustable sunshade here. This is all metal. I'm actually quite impressed with the durability feeling of this particular camera. Everything looks like it's sealed well and you can see the adjustability on the side. Looks like it can mount right side up or upside down. But I'm quite impressed. This feels like it's uh, it's very well sealed and it feels like it's going to last especially if it's outside in the elements. So Overall, first impression, looks really good. Looks really good. Now, this was about 85 bucks Canadian for everything you see here. So I'm expecting it to be half decent. I'm not expecting it to be, you know, groundbreaking. But let's, uh, let's figure out where it's going to go in the tractor. And then we'll hopefully get it up operational using the 12-volt uh, plug for the power source for both.